hey baby girls how's everyone doing welcome back i hope everyone is doing super super well today welcome to another video you guys know so for today's video we're gonna be using a birthday suit this is a beautiful 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 nude it's been a while since i've used it i forgot how beautiful it is we're also gonna be using starstruck and this one is for my new kawaii dreams collection it's so beautiful you guys I think you definitely need this collection because it just has so many random acrylics, meaning like just random glitters, you know what I mean? And you just need them, you need them. Um, okay, so now we're also going to be using number 17 and number 22 from my pastel gel collection. This one is still available on the website, so if you guys want to go and purchase it, it is still available. Also, we're going to be using our brand new gels. This is the black and the white gels. And by the way, the Kawaii Dreams collection is out already. It has released. And also, our black and white gels have released as well. We're also going to be using our number 14 100% Kalinske brush. This is so beautiful. It is back in stock, you guys. Uh, the number 12 is back in stock as well. And our old Kalinsky brushes are also back in stock. The ones with the pink crystal handle. Last but not least, we're going to be using our 3XL square tips. And I have already began with my thumb. But since we're going to be adding a nude throughout the nail, I decided not to film it. So I'm going to begin here with my index nail. And we will be starting by applying our starstruck glitter acrylic here on the index nail. You guys can see how beautiful this glitter is. It's so beautiful. It has uh, like stars in there. It has butterflies. It has like little flowers. It's so beautiful, you guys. So, so beautiful. I really say and think you need the kawaii dream collection like you need it you need it in your life it's so beautiful it's so versatile because you can use it for like an accent nail if your client wants something kind of like different um you could definitely add a little accent nail using one of these glitters um, it's gonna look so beautiful or if you're you know you like to do nail art just like I'm gonna do in today's video it looks also very very beautiful so yeah baby girls um, you guys can see here now that I've already applied it throughout the nail and I'm gonna go ahead and you know do a little ombre we're also gonna be applying our birthday suit I totally forgot how beautiful this uh acrylic is this is a nude acrylic it is available on the website it's so beautiful you guys it's been i i'm saying it's been literally months and months and months since i've even touched this acrylic and i was actually looking for something like this kind of nudie pinky but not that pink not that you know like butter pecan uh not that brownie you know not that you know i was looking exactly for this and i'm like hey i have birthday suit um and so yeah it almost reminds me i don't know if you guys remember what was it what was the name i don't remember the name of it you guys i think it was called peach buns from like my very 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 first nude collection that i brought when i first began my nail my online store actually on etsy i don't know if you guys remember if you guys are og you guys will remember i had a nude acrylic that was called peach buns yeah and it kind of reminds me of that one but this one's a little bit more like pinky and the other one was a lot more peachy and um i have a little bit left of peach buns and honestly you guys i don't want to use it i don't want to waste it because i don't know it's just so like it just brings me nostalgia because it was literally the very first nude acrylics that i brought to my website and i don't want it's probably i'm able to do maybe like two nails with it <laughs> and again i don't want to use it i don't want to use it because 
no i just don't <laughs> so yeah um this one's so beautiful you guys it's so so beautiful if you guys don't have this one in your collection seriously what are you waiting for i think this one is about to be sold out on the website i need to restock i need to restock on few of the things uh so again the brushes are restocked so if you guys are looking for a good kalinsky 100 percent kalinsky brush i uh 100 will tell you go to bomb nails shop bomb nails and buy there buy our kalinsky brushes because you will not regret it i know that you have seen probably on amazon that they have our similar brushes for example the ones with the pink handle or with the crystal clear handle or these with the ombre handle but i'm gonna be honest with you guys the reason why those brushes are very 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 inexpensive it's because those brushes are 75 percent kalinsky and 25 percent sable they are not 100 percent kalinsky if you guys have tried our kalinsky brushes you will know that when you're working with them you will see that no acrylic gets stuck on them unless you're a beginner but if you're a beginner like we all know we mess up brushes i've done it i've done it before and we really don't know like the acrylic to powder ratios that's why you're gonna see maybe um you know acrylic stuck on your brush or things like that but if you're a little bit more advanced and you know what you're doing you know you know a little bit more on the acrylic side then you will see that there is no acrylic stuck on your brush um now if for some reason you get the ones from amazon you're gonna see you're gonna see that there's acrylic stuck on there um you know i promise you that's why they're super cheap but yeah anyway i'm gonna go ahead and finish up these nails um everything is sped up again i don't want to bore you with the same thing like i've said over and over and over again so i'm just gonna leave you guys to it and i'll be back okay baby girls so now we're gonna be moving on to capping these babies out so the main thing why or the main reason actually why we want to cap these nails is because you want to save product okay let me kind of walk you through it if you're new first of all we want to cap because we do have glitter going on we want to protect that from the file or the e-file number two and the most important one is that we want to build up the structure of the nail making it um right you know what i mean <laughs> what i mean is the nail should be thin around the cuticle area thick on the apex area the apex is where you glue on your false tip to your natural tip and then it goes um back thin to the tip of the nail meaning the free edge of the nail 
So I am using my crystal clear acrylic powder. This one is available on my website. Again, we do have a lot of brand new things available on the website. So if you guys want to go and check that out, you may. Don't forget to use any of my brand ambassadors discount codes. Um, I do have Paige, I have Sylvia, and I have Key. So you guys can use any of those brand ambassadors discount codes and you will be saving 15% off. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys know all of them and I'm pretty sure you guys know who I'm talking about. So um, yeah, go follow them if you guys don't and go show them some love girls. Go, go and show them some love. Um, they're amazing. All three of them are amazing. Nail techs, nail artists, nail enthusiasts, whatever you want to call them. They're amazing. So yeah, baby girls, um, don't forget to check that out. The link to my website will be in the description box below. Um, you guys will be able to find nude acrylics, cover acrylics, uh, glitter acrylics. We do still have my summer collection back in, well, it's not back in stock, but it's still in stock. Um, we have a whole bunch of glitter acrylics, like I said. We have our brushes. We have our liner brushes, which we'll, we will be working with on today's video. Um, we have a lot going on over there on our shop bomb nail. So don't forget to check that out. And yeah, after that, we're going to be moving on to filing and shaping. And you guys know the drill. I'm going to let you guys watch that. And I'll be back. So after these nails have been nice and shaped and filed and buffed, this is what they look like. And to me, this is like the most satisfying part to see on acrylic nails. 
they i don't know you guys it's just so satisfying to see a fresh set of like filed nails they're so satisfying but anyway we're gonna be moving to the nail art part so for that i'm gonna be working with a matte base um for starters i'm gonna be working with a matte base because we're gonna be doing a frenchie with sugar effect and number two i am gonna be working on a nail art design and we don't want you know our gels to bleed through the nail or anything like that so this is gonna help me get a really nice and perfect um like little canvas to work on you know what i mean so yeah we're gonna begin with um making the little brad stall and i'm gonna be making her little face for that i'm gonna be using a whole bunch of nail art brushes i will be using my trio which is in my website as well it's the five millimeter uh, brush the 15 mm and the 20 mm i'm gonna be using all three of those i'm also gonna be using two brushes two other brushes which are more for like fill in to fill in like the little like the bigger spaces for example here now i'm gonna be doing like the little outline but then i'm gonna be using like this brush to kind of fill in that bigger space you know what i mean but then i'm like i'm not gonna use that so i just went straight in with the brush from the actual um gel now i am working with different gels which are from madame glam i believe this one is from what's it called nail reserve i think um and these are very good gels you guys i don't know if my my code still works um if i can find it i will probably link it somewhere but if i cannot find it it's not gonna be there but i did have a code with nail reserve for their for their gels they were really good so i went ahead and did the little face as you guys saw here of course we're gonna only be doing half or half of her face honestly if it were to be like her full-on face it would be super hard for me i believe because i don't think i would be able to get it like very symmetrical you know what i mean so that would be super hard for me but thank god it was just half i got the inspo off of pinterest i really don't know the nail artist um which it's just a little brat stall face that i got the inspo from i really want to do um a little cartoonish pictures like this using the kawaii dreams collection so expect more for that from that okay i don't know what else i'm gonna do and i really don't know how they're gonna come out but i'm gonna try my best i promise you um so yeah we're gonna be drawing her little eye her little eye was super easy to draw actually it's just like a little almond and then her little eyeshadow was purple so i went ahead and did the little eyeshadow it's a very it's it's a little complicated i would say it's complicated for me i don't know i'm i'm not a very nail art person i remember when i was in high school art i hated art you guys because i was i was not just i don't know it was just not for me art and me just don't mix you know what i mean like no um but i'm trying my best because i really want to step it up a little bit more in my nail game so i'm like you know what gabby you got this you got this i didn't even drink coffee this day i i was like no gabby please don't drink coffee because you're not gonna get it down girl you're gonna be all shaky and all these little lines and outlines are gonna be all crooked so please don't drink coffee um so i went ahead and did the the little eye like i said um i'm outlining with my black gel polish it is available on the website and i also went ahead and did her her little eye using the white gel polish from my website as well both of them are super pigmented they're very pigmented and i don't know you guys like i really love how this turned out i was really doubting myself but i really loved everything about it i really think that you should kind of practice on a piece of paper before doing it and i'm pretty sure your hand will like kind of se va a soltar tu mano like it'll like get the hang of it you know what i mean i don't know i didn't do it but i've heard from other nail artists that that's kind of what they do sometimes um but yeah <laughs> so 
I don't know you guys like I said it's just a matter of you kind of practicing a little bit and you'll get the hang of it so yeah baby girls um I really don't know what else I'm gonna do and I really don't want to shout it out here because then they take away your your ideas and you know what I mean I just don't want that so <laughs> I'm gonna keep it to myself and it'll be a surprise for you guys on my next uh cartoon character and we'll see what I come up with I don't know I'm excited I'm super excited this kawaii collection this is why I'm telling you you need it in your life you definitely need it in your life because if you love to do this type of cartoon characters and draw on your nails it just gives it like a little oomph to the nail you know what I mean you see like the cartoon character and then you see like the little um glitter going on and all these different shapes of glitter going on on the nail and it just it looks super 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 gorgeous you guys like it looks so so pretty so yeah <laughs> um so i'm gonna go ahead and do her little lips for that i don't even know what gel i used but i think it was one from madam glam or two actually from madam glam it was a glitter one and more like a purpley one i went ahead and mixed them both and i got this color it's so beautiful and again these liner brushes that i am using are available on my website don't forget to check that out so yeah baby girls after that i just went ahead and um outlined everything her lips her face i went ahead and did her little hair and yeah that was pretty much it
Okay, so now we're going to be doing like a double Frenchie. So I'm going to go ahead and use the pink, the pastel pink from my pastel gel collection <laughs> that I got for spring. It is still available on the website, you guys. So if you guys are wanting to get a nice pink gel, that one is available on the website. Um, I went ahead and mixed it in with the white from my website. Uh, um, as well because I wanted a lighter shade of pink so I went ahead and did that and this is a color that I got it's so beautiful and I'm also using again my 20 mm liner brush to create the Frenchie since these are super long nails um, I went ahead and did the little Frenchie I filled it in the rest of it I filled it in and then I sprinkled my sugar well my glitter on top of that and cured it and then I came back and did the Frenchie, the, the second Frenchie on top of that and sprinkled the glitter on top of it and then cured it. So of course we need some bling bling on this design so you guys can see here yeah i got ahead of myself because i was literally out of frame um so yeah i've already applied some crystals um can you guys see the little um rhinestone picker up or whatever you call it this one is from marcy thank you so much marcy she sent it to me it's so beautiful i i rarely use it not because i don't want to but i don't want to mess it up girl i mess up all of my wax tools or whatever they're called the ones that i use to pick up my rhinestones i mess them up like i literally mess them up so i don't want to mess this one up it's so special to me um so that's why i rarely use it but it's so so beautiful if you guys are looking for a beautiful um like a, wa a wax tool <laughs> i'm sorry you guys i'm speaking too fast if you guys are looking for a nice wax tool for your rhinestones um you can hit up marcy she makes these they're so beautiful i will have her instagram in the description box below in case you guys are wanting to get one from her you guys may go ask her so yeah baby girls i went ahead and added my gel top coat this one is from my website as well go ahead and check that out like i said we have a lot going on on the website right now we have a lot of things available for you guys on the website so don't forget to check that out um again you may use any of our brand ambassadors discount codes for that 15 percent off you guys 15 so yeah i went ahead and made these nails shiny i was debating whether I was gonna make the brat stall either shiny or matte but of course i had to go in with shiny to me i think cartoon characters or nail art looks better in matte but i don't know that's just me um so i went ahead and matted it out and this is the end result of course i didn't mention it but you guys saw that i added this little heart right in the middle nail i think it looks really cute it goes like exactly with the brad stall you guys know they're all about like cheetah print 
fur i don't know i thought it looked beautiful with it and it goes super super well with the whole brad stall design you know what i mean so yeah <laughs> these i think i got them a while back on my kawaii boxes that i had available when i had my etsy shop and these were in it so i had to use it i had to use it you guys but yeah baby girls and this is it this is the end result i love it i love it you guys i don't know i was debating whether i should do it i should not do it but then i'm like you know what gabby come on you could do it you could do it <laughs> so yeah baby girls i really hope you guys enjoyed it i really hope you guys love it thank you so much for being here i will see you on the next one stay safe god bless and bye bye